Have you been to China? What image pops up in your mind when someone mentions China to you? Will it be an image like this, portrayed by some Western media, or like this? What's real China like? Many YouTubers and vloggers have taken the chance of the 144-hour visa-free transit policy resumed last year to dive into the country through their lens, they have unfolded China's modern cities as well as rural lives to the world. Some of them even explored Xinjiang, a place that has always been targeted by some Western countries. At present, the hashtag China Travel is becoming trending on social media platforms like YouTube and TikTok. Each of these videos has garnered quite a considerable number of views within a short time. Behind the trending hashtag is the fact that China as a tourist destination is now captivating more and more tourists worldwide. <laughs> Even Chinese residents have noticed that an increasing number of foreign tourists are seen at scenic spots, shopping malls and streets. <laughs> According to official data from China's Immigration Authority, the country recorded 14.64 million inbound trips made by foreigners in the first half of this year, up 152.7% year-on-year. Last month, China announced the inclusion of Australia into its 144-hour visa-free transit countries list. Data from CTRIP showed that within half an hour of the announcement, the search of China-related keywords among Australian users had drastically surged by 80%. On the same day of the announcement, the number of China vacation bookings from Australia also jumped by 20%. What makes China so attractive to foreign visitors? China's modernization, natural wonders, culture and folk customs, advanced infrastructure, high technologies, safety and people's hospitality. Well, you never guess where we are. We're in China! Wow. Oh my God, that's all I can say. Look at that. And we are about to have some drinks dropped off by a drone. I have never experienced anything like this. Whoa. Where are they? Is this a train station or is this an airport? This is the most comfortable train seat I think I've ever sat in. I love all of the orange roofs. This is so nice. I found a nurse. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just been really welcoming. The place is really nice to see. If it's on your list, do it. You're not going to believe this, right? All the way up here, at the top of this mountain, they have 5G. No, all the way up here. It feels really like big giant spaceship in here. Oh, what on earth is that? This is crazy. We will be making our way through the cosmos. <laughs> Moreover, to bring more convenience to foreign visitors, Chinese governments have taken measures to solve problems faced by most foreign visitors. For instance, China has emerged as a front-runner in mobile payment. This convenient payment for Chinese has posed hurdles for first-time visitors to China. Multiple measures to help foreigners enjoy a hassle-free payment environment have been rolled out. Now, Alipay and WeChat Pay, China's two major payment apps, allow foreign users to link their international credit cards, including Visa and MasterCard, to their platforms, greatly streamlining the payment processes. All of these infrastructures, high technologies and safe environments praised by foreign visitors in China have existed in Chinese people's daily lives for a long time. A Chinese saying goes, it's better to see for yourself rather than to hear for many things. If you want to know the real China, come to visit and explore the country. I'm sure it will be beyond your imagination.